Hi, Intuitive D1111 here. Deanna here. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me. Thank you for being a part of our Diamond Star Seed family. If you want to win a free reading, I'm choosing additional winners today. Just let me get some time to get it out to you. All you have to do is subscribe, like a recent video, and leave me a comment. And I filter it by subscribers and you're entered. And to that stupid ass bitch that decided to put that lame ass comment, let me tell you something. Do you think I want to read all these energies that come out here? No. But if you want a different type of reading, you have to realize, number one, this is not a personal reading. And number two, either cleanse your energy, cut cords, or stop dealing with the same type of energies that have dark entity attachments. Okay? Period. You know what I'm saying? Don't blame the reader. We're channelers of energy. So play with your motherfucking lip gloss and shit. Don't play with me. You feel me? Period. <laughs> Let's get into this thing. And so with the King of Cups here, there's definitely somebody that has a lot of love for you, okay? But most likely this person, you know, some of you, they're showing you love. For others of you, this could even be a new connection. What I'm seeing here, though, is that somebody, whether it's past or present, okay, whether it's feminine or masculine, it, there's some type of evidence here, okay? Somebody's investigating something. There's some type of proof that somebody is seeing about some type of communication or idea, okay, about... Y'all, somebody couldn't be investigating uh, marriage paperwork here. I don't know if somebody married for money or married for citizenship or they just married. I don't know, because they were put together with someone like an arrangement. I don't know what this is, but somebody is learning a lot of different lessons. That's what I'm seeing here. For some of you guys, this could just be somebody that is into you and literally is thinking about how they can either propose to you or they're thinking about marriage details. OK, so I guess congratulations for some of y'all. <laughs> OK, um, with the Ace of Wands here, though. Yeah, I feel like there's somebody that feels a loss because number one, okay, with the Ace of Spears, it's the Ace of Wands. You know, somebody feel like, damn, I don't know. Somebody feel like y'all, y'all gripping somebody else's wand or you letting somebody else have the wand. Like, I don't know what it is. It's some type of new uh, love or new creative endeavor, okay? And it's like somebody is feeling at a loss, okay? For some of y'all, this could even be somebody that was disturbing your peace with that disturbance card. It's like somebody could have been a hater here. They didn't want to see you have new beginnings. They didn't want to see you have growth. They didn't want to see you have an expansion. Okay, this is somebody like that bitch that left that underhanded comment, right? Um, <laughs> that they act like they happy for you and they being positive, but they really ain't. Y'all, some of y'all, this is like... Who is this? We got compromise, agreement, reconciliation, consideration. Yeah, somebody wants a new beginning with you, okay? But it's like they didn't put you through too much with somebody else or somebody was listening to other people and they're wishing that they hadn't did that, okay? Because they're realizing that whoever they were listening to literally is uh, is disturbed, okay? Like somebody here is being haunted because... They didn't make the right decision, whether this is in business or whether this is in love or whether it's in both. Somebody is feeling a loss here. OK, that's what I'm seeing. I don't know. I feel like somebody didn't think that you were going to gain something or somebody underestimated y'all. Yet again, we keep seeing this. I don't know. I don't know if somebody felt like y'all was just like the whole world was going to stop if they pull back their love or if they pull back their support or for some of you, if they pull back their finances. But it's like, y'all the motherfucking stars. So that's a no. Overall energy is the emperor. Arr, you feel me? This fucking lion energy. Like somebody, I mean, that sounded a little bit covish, you feel me? But, <laughs> but it's like somebody, it's just, they didn't know who they was fucking with. That's what I'm seeing here. They underestimated they underestimated you or they underestimated your person. Somebody really thought like they were going to control your person or they were going to control you or they were going to control an outcome. That's what I'm seeing here with the page of cups here and the aid and the aid card. Yeah, there's somebody now that's in this energy that wants to apologize, apologize. They want mercy. They want charity. They want kindness because now they need your help. OK, or now they see that you're doing better off without them. OK, or for some of you, this is even somebody that you could have helped in the past. I don't know. I feel like somebody here with the nightmare card suffering, someone suffering in silence. Y'all, we have darkness, persecution and gain here. Yes, yeah, somebody did entirely too much for money. That's what I'm seeing here. 
or to hold on to something else that they had invested in. I feel like if somebody just would have taken a practical approach and just really had gotten back to, um, you know, putting in the work day in and day out, right, for what it is that they really wanted, then they would have got the results that they wanted. But I feel like somebody here, they either were tricked in a different direction or they took bad business advice or they, they chose the wrong partner in love. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, and I feel like now somebody is in a bad state Okay, and and it's like it's almost as if somebody here, y'all, don't let nobody come back and give you no fake ass offer. But in reality, they really want your help because see, they could have worked together. You see those different hands in the background? They could have worked together with others against you. But now that they see that you in this energy again, they want you to bring that ass, bring that ass, bring that ass back. Or for some of you, it's because they low on energy. Okay. This is somebody that most likely is an energy vampire, okay? Or they've slept with many different people or they've smoked too many different substances or drank too much. Their vibration was low. They got dark entity attachments from environments and other people they've been with. And they see that you're in a physical gain or energetic gain or you're about to be in that, okay? And now all of a sudden they want to reappear, okay? For some of y'all, this could be friends too, you know, the ones that, you know, they don't want to be there uh, for you when you are emotionally going through it or financially going through it. But all of a sudden they want to pop up out the motherfucking cuts and shit when they see that, oh, you just closed a major deal or when they see that you're, you know, doing good or that people are interested in you. OK, or X is trying to pop back up when they see that you happy with somebody else. Like it's, it's giving that kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a no. Ace of Cups, sweetheart. Yeah, I feel like y'all are focused on self-love until you meet your sweetheart. Or if you have a sweetheart, you know, I feel like y'all are, I mean, there's somebody that wants to offer you unconditional love. That's what I see here. Okay, so either it's coming in or you're experiencing, experiencing it or you have a past person that feels this way about you. But like yet again, coming out in a different reading in a different deck, somebody is scared to express their feelings towards you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody's going through some type of depression or phobia or somebody is paranoid. They feel like the walls are closing in around them for some of you because they chose the wrong partner or can they slept on your connection. For others of you, I feel like you guys are in very comfortable energy, right? I feel like you guys have victory success. I feel like your spiritual team is whooping that ass on people that want to come against you. You know, people can say all they want to, but baby, energy don't lie. It doesn't lie. That's why, you know, everything can look okay with a person in the 3D. But baby, we don't pay attention to just what's in the 3D. Okay? Because somebody very well could, like, I'll give you an example. Somebody could ask for your number, right? But what you don't realize is that same dark entity that was attached to one of your exes, <laughs> guess what? It has another dark entity within that same legion that happens to be attached to that other person that's asking you for your, your number. Okay? And their main intention is to what? to drain you and cause mayhem in your life. So the, all of a sudden your ex had addictions. This, this motherfucker that's coming to ask you for your number has addictions too. I'm trying to tell you, okay? There are legions of dark entities out there and their main goal is to bring down chosen ones, okay? To have you feeling disempowered. And if they feel like love is something that you really want, baby, they gonna use a lover in a minute. That's why you have to look with three eyes, including your third eye, and not just both eyes that, that look into the physical plane. You see what I'm saying here? And I feel like you guys are getting a lot of dream downloads as well. Because I feel like somebody was trying to play up in your energy here. Okay? It's like somebody didn't want somebody to give an offer to you. Somebody didn't want you to have love. Somebody didn't want you to have passion in your life. Not if they couldn't get a part of it. Or not if it wasn't with them. Somebody was in some straight devil toxic energy. But they didn't want to take to do the work to change. To be able to have those things for themselves. Or to be able to even be in your life. If this is somebody that you loved at one point. And for some of you it was. Because with the devil card and commitment here. What I'm seeing is somebody's giving somebody a whole lot of motherfucking hell. Because they love you or they want to be with you. Somebody also has a lot of karmic ties and a lot of karmic attachments, okay, from the people that they've been around and the choices that they've made, 
with their body, with their mind, what they're consuming on a daily basis, okay? Yeah, binding, obstruction, contract. Somebody got into some type of devilish ass contract and they wishing that they wouldn't, they wouldn't have. Or somebody just feels bound like they can't come towards you because, you know, uh, maybe they're going through something in the courts, okay? Maybe they're going through something with their business. Maybe they're going through a divorce. It can be a many different things. It's a collective reading. But I see that someone also has a bad perception of commitments. They seem to think that commitments involve one person controlling the other or manipulating the other. Or those are the energies that they dealt with. And so now somebody is just like, okay, well, commitments are toxic. No, not all commitments are toxic. Not all men are bad. Not all women are bad. They're not. You just have to have better discernment and better boundaries on who it is you 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 get caught up in your emotions with. Because somebody could be obsessed and fixated with you, which someone most definitely is. If you in another commitment, they thinking about how they can get you out that shit. I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm reading thoughts right now. But what's their intentions with you when they get you? Just to manipulate, control, control you, lie to you again, cheat to you again? Or is it to actually build with you this time? Because I feel like somebody is watching you with this with this fixated stare, watching everything that y'all do. Okay, some of y'all, it's several people. We got the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Devil, the King of Cups, the Emperor. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is at least six to seven different people. I'm trying to tell you. For some of you, it's just aspects of one or two people. But what I'm seeing here is that be careful of anybody trying to rush in and... um. And don't let nobody make a dummy out of you. Don't do it, okay? You'll regret that shit. Because I see that somebody is unhappy with whatever commitment that they're in. Or they're unhappy in whatever uh, choices that they've made in their life, okay? It says introvert, privacy, separate, online community. Somebody here could have even been trying to attack you guys um, and keep you separate from loved ones. Or keep you separate from joy. Or keep you separate from a community, Somebody was straight jealous here. That's what I'm seeing. They were jealous that somebody loved you. Jealous that somebody wanted to be with you. Okay. Or this is a karmic third party that's feeling this way about your person. You just take it as it resonates here. But I feel like somebody is with somebody and they dreaming about somebody else. It's like somebody is emotionally cheating. Hey, go be with who you want to be with then and stop playing. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't have a million years here. I just really wish that people would, you know, I want different storylines, okay? I would love to see an outcome card as somebody actually, you know, legit taking action with good intentions to come towards, you know, um, whoever they're meant to be with. But the problem is, is that <sighs> it's reality. People need healing, okay? Some people talk themselves out of healthy choices for their life. Some people are content daydreaming and thinking about you, but not putting the action in. I see that you do have somebody in the mix here that does want to take action towards you. Okay, they're preparing themselves. It says prompt arrangement. They want to come towards you. Okay, they're optimistic, but it says illusion. So it's like, for some of y'all, it's like people put up, I don't know. I, I keep, it's not even just that they're underestimating you, but it's almost as if for some of y'all, it's like, like I said, y'all celebrity energy. You know, you are someone that people look up to. Okay. You guys are meant to shine. You are meant to have a following. And it's like somebody is in love with the, the image of you, but either they haven't spent enough time with you in real life. Okay. Or they just have to get to know you all over again. So it's like somebody wants to take action towards you, but they need to start from scratch. You feel me? They need to get to know you all over again. Okay? Because what I'm seeing here is like there's an energy of someone that, that keeps to themselves a lot. Okay? And maybe you guys are private people, but I don't know who this person is that's like daydreaming about y'all all the time but not taking the action or the steps to get to know you for some of you it could be a newer energy because the page of cups is right there okay but for some of you it's not new it's not a newer energy it's somebody that you know you know of most definitely yeah with the two of wands here somebody is planning something they're planning they are planning to take action here somebody in this energy they want a new passionate beginning okay 
That's what they that's what they want. Or for some of y'all, y'all gonna meet a new Aries Leo Sag or a new Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Okay. I say be careful with that Gemini Libra Aquarius though, because the ace of swords is in reverse. I feel like there's somebody else that's coming towards you and they don't have good intentions. So you gotta be discerning. 1515 15 on the timer, baby. You gotta be discerning on 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 who's offer to take. Yeah, we have merit making here. Goodness, humanness, morality. Yeah, somebody could have even tried to play down your character as well. They wanted people around them thinking that you were not a good person, okay? Thinking that you were someone that needed to be avoided. Somebody did everything in their damn power just to have try to have you feeling alienated. They need an ass whooping like these ants that them bit up my motherfucking body and shit. Yeah, pride, self-esteem, self-worth, ego, and bully. Somebody was trying to bully y'all. Whether you realize it or not, that's what they were trying to do. They were trying to embarrass you. They were gossiping about you, okay? They they were trying to get people to see you a certain different type of way, okay? Now, for some of y'all, it's because they didn't have all the facts, but for others of y'all, it was because somebody was upset with you. So they did some they they did some type of devilish actions against you, okay? For some of you, they could have even been doing spell work too with that devil, because the way he looking on that card, the devil partnered with the Knight of Swords, that's somebody that it's past vindictive, baby. Somebody was really trying to take you out. And guess what? It wasn't even really them. It was the dark entities that were attached to them. Okay. Yeah, baby. Memory here. Yeah, I feel like what's happening here is people are seeing the truth about you. They're realizing that you're in a you're in a state of equilibrium. You're in a state of peace. Okay, it says inner peace, simplicity, meditation. It don't matter whether you have a lot. It doesn't matter whether you have a little. You are content. You are happy. Whoever you were dealing with was not content with what God had blessed them with. They always wanted more and more and more. Okay, they were not content with just one partner. They always wanted more and more and more. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, and I feel like somebody connected to this person was either trying to bully you or bully your person and, and, and try to make them feel bad and trying to bring others against them. Okay, for wanting to be with you. Or maybe some people were doing this and, and, and trying to say all this to you to get you to not be with somebody. You know, it, 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 it's mind blowing to me how hard people work against soul connections. Like, I'll give you an example, man, real briefly. I'm trying to talk to my ex-husband about my kids, right? He go out of his way to tell me that he saw my TF when he was passing through a certain street or whatever, um you know, when he was in town in a different area. And so I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I'm trying to coordinate you, you know, about the kids and you just still just got this unnecessary vengeance towards my twin flame. <laughs> and you know, he want to talk about his appearance. I'm like, okay, yeah, he likes to work out. Yeah, he drinks a lot of water. And you know what I'm saying? It's just like, there is just something that attaches to karmics that makes them really just want to take apart twin flame connections. They don't even know why. I mean, this this man, I'm like, we're not even married anymore. We're not even together anymore. And you still got a problem with my ex. Y'all, I got stories, man. Shoot, he used to GPS track me to see what streets I was going down to make sure that I was not over there by my TF's business. It was that serious for him. Okay, hidden cameras, all kinds of shit, baby. Date somebody with a criminal justice background if you want to, honey. <laughs> okay, because that's what he had whiffed to school for. Anyways, let's get into this thing here. So that's just an example how, you know, when you have a soul connection, when you have this love, when you're wondering why there's so many different interferences, okay, dark entities don't want divine counterparts to come together. They definitely don't want you to procreate, period. Because they don't want that higher vibrational energy here. No, they are, the dark entities, they are of the devil. They are the devil's minions. And they have one mission here since they were kicked out of heaven. is to kill, to steal, to destroy. Okay, period. Knight of Swords. Yeah, somebody is upset. Okay, they're upset that they... Uh, that they didn't receive some type of jackpot or fortune or reward that they thought that they were going to get for um, uh, for coming against you, okay? Or for harming you. Or that they were not able to stop this luck or this blessings for you, 
okay, that they were not try they were not able to stop you from moving forward with desire, worth, and extravagance. Somebody here, yeah, damn, they was trying to do the most. Some of y'all, they wanted you to not have your vehicle. They wanted you to not have money or good luck. They wanted you to, to, to be homeless and destitute, okay? They wanted to cause calamity in your life. But look at y'all, y'all still out here winning. And even if you don't see it in the three in the 3D, baby, it's here. It's here. It's manifesting in from the 5D. We said success, victory, and achievement. Somebody here tried to do everything they could. I mean, they paid practitioner, practitioners. Okay, they sent negative energy themselves. They rallied the motherfucking troops. They talked to different family members. Some of y'all had multiple different families working against you. This is crazy. Some of y'all, it was coworkers, people on your jobs. For a lot of y'all though, it was ex it was it could have been a, a karmic ex lover, okay? Or it could have been some crazy ass, unstable karmic third party. Wow, this is in out of yeah, the nine of cups. Somebody thought that they were gonna offer love, but it was a trick. It was so that they could steal from you either your time, your love, your energy, and let's hope not your resources. It says exploitation exploit exploitation, incaution, unfairness. Somebody was unfair to you and they knew that they were. And now they're upset because they ass is getting whooped by the divine. Yeah, offense, madness, unpleasantness. Somebody's upset that they could not steal something for you or that they could not block your blessings or block you in, in all these different areas in your life. And it's because they are possessed. Y'all better stay prayed up. Okay? I don't care for how long it is. Start small if you have to. But this is in, in these times of it's not even impending spiritual and physical wars like I was saying months ago. It's here. OK, these spiritual wars are happening. OK, you need to stay prayed up because these dark entities, baby, they they really trying to. I mean, they already have made a dent in the atmosphere with everything that's going on in the world. OK, I'm trying to tell you the devil doesn't sleep, baby. And somebody here really had it out for you. Yeah, they were not listening to the divine. They were not listening to sound advice. Okay? This is like the hierophant in reverse. Y'all. <laughs> yeah, they thought that they were going to stop your blessings. They stressed because you still blessed. <laughs> Baby, they stressed because you still blessed. That's crazy. Yeah, they getting headaches from the spell work they done sent out. Backfiring, pressure, lack of sleep. All, all they stress because you fulfilled. Wow. Yeah, because you're enlightened. You are blessed and protected. Somebody here, baby, it says touch not my anointed for a reason. They didn't want somebody having a family with you. Yeah, they didn't want someone having a bond with you. This is so crazy. Like one of my ex's bitches like, oh, you pregnant? I'm pregnant too. Bitch, you ain't pregnant. Go sit your dumb ass self down. Like get the fuck out of here. It's like you can, you, can, you can say, oh, you know what? Listen, I'm clairvoyant, blah, blah, blah. This bitch gonna be like, oh, I'm clairvoyant too. Like somebody over here invested in a straight copycat. It's like, man, bitch trying to copy everything about you. Okay. Or the man over here trying to, to copy everything about you, but he can never be you. It's like somebody is not realizing that no matter what the heck it is they try to do, somebody's still going to love you. Like, for instance, my TF, man, you can't tell me shit, period. Love is there, respect is there, period. You can't really tell me anything, you know? Like, I remember when his baby mamas was telling me about this that happened and that that happened. It's like, yeah, okay. You feel me? Like, when, when you have ascended with somebody and you already know what's up, you know what's up. All I can see right here is that there is a lot of fucking haters, man. They need to take like fucking 30 seats. Sit that ass down. Like that's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, Ace of Swords in reverse. Somebody is not communicating the truth. Somebody is avoiding or somebody is lying. They're trying to hide the fact that they're lonely. Okay, dullness, disappointed, isolation. Okay. Yeah, somebody here has been planning to apologize okay but it's like somebody or they want been planning to communicate even but it's like they don't want to take the risk because they took the risk in the wrong direction last time and they got burned okay so somebody over here is dealing with somebody or somebody's in this energy of wearing many different masks it says deception pretending in inconsistency like somebody here 
is a shapeshifter. They shapeshift into whatever the hell it is that they uh, feel is necessary for them to get what they want. Someone's also a sociopath too, okay? Everybody else emotional about some shit. This person has no expression. So they start looking around like, okay, what facial expression should I put on today to match this energy? Somebody, I'm trying to tell you, baby, not everybody, not every walking being that you see is actually just a walking being. Some of them have sold their souls, baby. Okay? Some of them are taken over by dark entities. I'm trying to tell you, baby. It says stubbornness. Yeah, somebody did not want to see that they needed to change, that they needed to be authentic to themselves. Okay? That they needed to be honest with their intentions. That they needed to be honest with their with their actions. Somebody here, you couldn't tell them nothing. You know what? It's like that song, you can't tell me nothing. What's that? Shout out to Kanye, right? Baby, you can't tell Kanye not a cotton picking thing. Fuck with that Gemini if you want to, man. I don't got time. I ex husband a Gemini son in a Scorpio moon. You can't tell me shit, baby. I done been through it, okay? Period. Endorsement. Yeah, see, somebody didn't listen to sound advice when it came to try to persuade or bribe or tempt somebody, okay, either in business or to come against some of y'all. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, see, somebody over here was trying to control somebody, okay, dictatorship, domination, relu reluctance. Somebody somebody was is in a situation where they feel like they have no control, but it's a facade. Yes, they do. They can get the hell away from uh, whoever the hell it is that they are dealing with. Okay? Somebody is making excuses here. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay? It's like somebody, it's like they took some money and it's like because they took some money and agreed to some type of contract, <laughs> now they hate life. Well, get the fuck up out that contract then. You know what I'm saying? It's like if your money already funny anyways because you're getting your ass kicked by karma, then at least uh, start making steps to be on the right side of karma. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody here, this is a journey that somebody is going through, y'all. This is a life journey. Eight of coins in reverse. <sighs> somebody could be out of work right now, okay? Or somebody no longer wants to work on some type of uh, project or with, with a lover, Okay, someone no longer wants to work on a connection. Somebody is left out in the cold here. That's what it is. Yeah, I kid you not. There's an alliance here. Okay, it says trust, honest, compatibility. Somebody's realizing someone was not trustworthy or honest. It's over. Death card. Okay, endless harm, inevitable. Okay, it's over with, with a whole group of people. Okay, I don't know what this is. It could be different for everybody. But I, I can see that someone's seeing the truth that somebody really was not down with them or down for them that it was a shallow connection yeah just to trap somebody yep wow yeah somebody knows they got to end something yep somebody even probably put some magic with this shit look at this ceremony mystic magic yeah they were trying to do magic to trap somebody okay the magic card and the death yeah that could very well be death spells okay or they were trying to uh work on the people around this person now they get in their ass whooped. That's what I'm seeing here, spiritually and physically. Yeah, because someone was overindulgent. That's what they were. They were overindulgent. Somebody was using magic to try to get what they wanted, to bind somebody, okay, to, 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 uh, to try to have things go in their favor so they could have more abundance in their life, so that they could have gifts in their life. It's like somebody here was selfish here, and now they're under judgment. They were trying to steal your happiness, steal your gifts. They didn't want whoever loves you to be in love with you. Wow, somebody evil for real, y'all. Yeah, we got eternal love here. Somebody wanted somebody blind to the love that they have for you or that you have for them. Wow. Somebody could have even taken the advice of somebody that was older or elderly within their family that could have gave them bad advice to not even deal with you. Or that could have happened to somebody here. Yep. Blind. Somebody stayed in the wrong connection and now they feel like they missed out on their eternal love. Okay? But guess what? Y'all have many different soulmates in this lifetime. Bam. So some of y'all already dating another one or you're going to be meeting one soon. 
but you're destined to be together with somebody if that's what you want, period. And it's going to be excellent, great news, okay? Encouragement, miracle, surprise. It's going to hit you out the blue because some of y'all have given up. Don't give up, baby, okay? We've got an emperor right here, okay? Or if you're watching, the emperor's for you. Trust me. The divine has you covered, baby. Yep. Look at that. The eight of wands, baby. Love is coming, okay? So just be patient. Continue working on yourself, it says, I, I saw you. You stopped the vehicle. Somebody thinks that you're very intuitive and magical. It says, I feel like hurting you caused negative karma. Well, damn. Weren't we just talking about that? <laughs> Somebody was up last night sexually frustrated over y'all. Damn, what y'all doing? Lord, not to hit, man. Not today, Satan, Lord. A physical or spiritual hit, man, baby. Somebody's afraid. Somebody's going to jail for one to two years, or for some of you, more than that. God is giving you back everything they stole and more, okay? If someone wants to know, how do you do it? Live each day with this kind of passion. Don't you find it exhausting, okay? Somebody over here is physically abusive to the karmic. They wonder why the karmics be acting crazy. That's a no. It says, I meant it when I said I loved you. Yeah, there's some type of investigation or case that's in process right now. Y'all, somebody obsessed with you. Okay, someone's brother is traveling soon. Someone was contacted from jail. Yep, somebody's upset that the spell work has been returned. Yep, most definitely. Yeah, someone rejected their spiritual inheritance. It's so sad. And you were part of their spiritual inheritance here to help them here in this realm. They spent too much time trying to set you up. Okay, let someone let the karmic go. And someone says, I'm going to make sure I remind you of why I'm yours. Oh, shit. Somebody going to try to put it on you. <laughs> okay. That's what that card means, baby. I was going to say put some wands down below, but man, I'm so inappropriate. Shit. You could put some mics down below if you want to. But in reality, put some hearts down below because I really feel like that's what's really happening here. Somebody is having a heart chakra awakening. Okay. Somebody is finally starting to open their eyes and see what's going on around them. Love you guys. Namaste.